Adrian Wojnarowski, also known as Woj, was born in Bristol, Connecticut on the 4th of March, 1969. Wojnarowski recognized with transforming NBA news breaking and reporting across the past decade plus, is a central part in ESPN's multimedia coverage of the NBA throughout the year. Covering the league, its teams, players, trade deadlines, free agency, the NBA draft, summer league, and more. Wojnarowski graduated from Bristol Central High School in 1987. He then attended St. Bonaventure University, where he graduated in 1991. Adrian began his career working for the Hartford Current, starting as a high school senior and continuing during breaks from college. After graduating from college, Woj wrote for some smaller papers before becoming a columnist for the Fresno Bee in 1995. In 1997, Woj started working for The Record in New Jersey. As a result of his work with The Record, Adrian was named the Columnist of the Year in 1997 and 2002 by the Associated Press Sports Editors. During this time, he also contributed regularly to ESPN.com. In 2007, Woj left The Record and joined Yahoo Sports full-time. He has helped break many major national stories while at Yahoo. In March 2009, Woj and Dan Wetzel wrote a story tying the Connecticut Huskies men's basketball program to several recruiting violations. In 2010, the New York Post reported that Woj was being sued by the Penguin Group for failing to meet a deadline for a book covering the life of coach Jim Valvano. He responded that the problem was a miscommunication between him and his agent and said that he would be returning the money to Penguin Books. Adrian Wojnarowski left Yahoo Sports for ESPN in July 2017, just before the start of the NBA free agency. He made his ESPN debut on the midnight edition of SportsCenter earlier that day. He regularly posts his scoops on Twitter. With important transactions he reports on referred to his followers as Woj Bombs. His reporting, insights, and analysis appear on ESPN.com and in the ESPN app. Featured on SportsCenter, NBA Countdown, Get Up, Outside the Lines, and other programs. Also, Adrian hosts the Woj Pod, which regularly delivers the biggest stars and newsmakers in the NBA. He also hosts the Woj Report on ESPN's YouTube page. Now let's see how Adrian Wojnarowski makes that loot. Salary. Woj spent close to 10 years at Yahoo Sports since joining in 2007. Coed reports that Woj created The Vertical, which was quite a killer when breaking news. It seems like ESPN could not match the competition that The Vertical brought in the game. Woj had signed a four-year deal with Yahoo in 2015. Reports have estimated that the contract was at $8 million. However, Woj returned to ESPN in 2017. Various experts have claimed that ESPN could have poached or been involved in his contract buyout while the writer was still working for Yahoo. Adrian reached a new five-year, $35 million deal with the company. That's an average annual salary of $7 million per year. The contract gives the reporter incentives to make even more money over the course of the deal. Sounds like fun to get paid to get the scoop on the NBA. Now, let's look at Woj's other sources of income. Commercials. Besides being a good journalist, Woj also does a good job at acting. Since he's a well-known name, various brands are paying Woj in their advertisements, which makes a lot of sense. Adrian Woj first appeared in commercials for T-Mobile and Samsung. WNBA star Sue Bird and Adrian starred together in a CarMax commercial. I actually really enjoyed shooting with Woj, Sue Bird told Insider. He was a lot of fun to be on set with. Yep, another contribution to Woj's income. Thanks to all the brands working with him, my man Woj is stacking more of that cheese. Books. Aside from talking and writing about sports, Woj has also published a book entitled The Miracle of St. Anthony, a season with coach Bob Hurley and basketball's most improbable dynasty, which went on to become a bestseller. The book chronicles the 2003-2004 Friars season as they fight through crisis after crisis involving absentee students, a principal with terminal illness, and better-funded rivals. Leading the Friars for the 32nd season is the larger-than-life figure, Coach Bob Hurley. Adrian was granted total access to the school and its basketball team for the entire season. He has made full use of it to take the reader through an amazing, fact-infinitely-stranger-than-fiction narrative that shines the spotlight on such a committed coach that Bob Hurley has refused several lucrative offers to move to the college ranks. Woj holds nothing back in this riveting portrait of leadership amidst despair. Hurley's ways of operating may raise a few eyebrows. 
He constantly yells at and berates his players, but it is clear that his heart is in the right place and that his commitment is genuine. This book, which was published in 2005, immediately became a bestseller, and this both increased Woj's awareness and the income from the book greatly improved his financial situation. Yes, we learned about Woj's income, so with that, Adrian Wojnarowski has a current net worth of... Wait, we'll get to that later. Now that we know where Woj gets his money from, let's talk about his lifestyle and how he spends his millions. House Adrian currently lives in Glen Rock, New Jersey with his wife and two children. This house is just over 2,800 square feet and has five bedrooms and four baths. Some features include a sunlit kitchen, spacious formal dining room, balconies, nice mudroom, huge master suite, and of course a home office to talk about those NBA deals. It was purchased in 2003 for $725,000 and has appreciated in value a lot since then. Currently, it has an approximate net worth of over $1.1 million, so that's about $375,000 in equity. Charity Adrian is known mostly for support of Charity Buzz. Charity Buzz is an internet company that raises funds for nonprofit organizations through online charity auctions with celebrities and brands. Auction experiences include music, entertainment, business, politics, sports, art, fashion, and other industries. The company was founded in 2005 and has raised more than $400 million for charities. What a generous guy Woj is. Controversies Woj has been criticized by media critics for his reporting on LeBron James, being accused of having an apparent bias and relying on anonymous sources. He was listed number one in the Sports Media Watch's Worst of Sports Media 2010 as a result of this criticism. Other than this, in 2020, Republican Senator Josh Howley wrote a letter to the NBA Commissioner Adam Silver questioning the propriety of the NBA allowing social justice statements on players' jerseys, but not support for law enforcement or anything critical of the Chinese Communist Party. The NBA has business connections with China. Woj copied on the Hawley communication replied to Hawley via email saying, F you. Adrian apologized the same day to Hawley and ESPN. ESPN called Woj's response completely unacceptable behavior and added the network was addressing it directly with Adrian and specifics of those conversations will remain internal. Two days later, ESPN suspended Woj without pay. He remained suspended for a few weeks. Some prominent figures in the NBA came to Woj's defense. Even LeBron took to Twitter in support of Woj, writing hashtag free Woj. Love life. Amy Wojnarowski is the better half of Woj. Adrian's wife has led the most secretive life in all of the NBA. She probably has one of, if not the least amount of info on the internet regarding wives of NBA personnel. Adrian is very happy with his wife Amy, who went to college at St. Bonaventure. No one knows when they got married, but they met in college and fell in love because they both love journalism. Adrian and his wife have been married for over 20 years, so it's no surprise that they have two children, a son named Ben and a daughter named Annie. Woj tries to keep his personal life very private. Net worth. Now is the time you've all been waiting for. How much is Adrian Wojnarowski really worth? With everything going on in Adrian's life, Woj has a net worth of $14 million. Big beast in the building. Keep up the breaking news.